All right, unless you've been living under a rock, then you've probably heard of Google's new Manifest V3 platform and how it's going to end ad blocking as we know it. So in case you haven't heard, long story short, Google is updating the way that their extensions are built. And in their new version, a lot of features that were previously used for ad blockers are just not there or they just make it much harder for the extension to actually go through and block the ads. I'm not gonna go into specifics on the technical details about it. If you want another video, I'll leave a link in the description as there's people who can do that better than I can. But long story short, a lot of people are upset that ad blockers are no longer going to be as powerful starting in 2023. That's when Google is going to mandate this. That's when Google is going to push their manifest V3 and basically end manifest V2. And so this video is not a Google shill video. I, of course, dislike this change as much as anybody else, and I think this is a bad step for the web. And of course, you can see people propose various solutions. Uh, they'll say switch to Firefox because for the time being, Firefox still has support for manifest v2 extensions. Some people say switch to a browser that blocks ads by default, like Brave Browser. But in this video, I actually wanted to see how ad blockers are going to look and function in Manifest V3. So of course, they're still going to be around, but the question is how nerfed are they going to be? Are they going to be completely broken like I've seen some comments say? Some people seem to think that with the new version, all the ad blockers are just going to be kaput and you'll see ads everywhere, rendering them basically useless. And so in this video, I wanted to go over one of the new Manifest V3 ad blockers, which is uBlock Origin Lite. You've probably heard of uBlock Origin before. It's one of the most popular ad blockers and probably the best. Everybody recommends it as one of the must have extensions and I've used it for many years and it has been great. And this is by the same author as the original uBlock Origin. But as you can see in the title, uh, you need to temper your expectations a little bit because this is a light version of the original uBlock Origin. Like I said, a lot of features and a lot of things that they could do before are just not able to be done. But let me show you what it can do and what it can't do. Because contrary to what some people may think, ad blocking will still exist in Manifest V3. Let's just see how it looks. And do keep in mind that this is very new software. I think this is not any more than a month or two old. So the developer, Gore Hill, is still actively working on this. So do expect some things to get better in the future. And like I said, I'm not gonna go too into detail on all the technical things. If you want, I will leave a link to this GitHub issue where the creator, Gore Hill, goes into more detail about everything. But let's start at the very beginning and let's install it from the Chrome Web Store. You can do that like you would usually. Now, right away, you may notice some change. Before, I believe this used to say it wants to read and change your data on all web pages. And now the permissions are a lot less greedy. It only wants to block content on any page. And Google says that they're moving to Manifest V3 for security reasons. It's not because they want to kill ad blocking on the web. And of course, you can believe them or not. I honestly think it's a little bit of both, but they do want to make it more secure. So not giving it very broad permissions when you first install it is a good first step. So let's add the extension. Let's let it install. There it is. And since you haven't given it too many permissions, you'll see that the way it works is a little bit different. Let me just pin this so we can see this. So let's test out this extension by going to some ad filled websites and see how well it performs. So first things first, let's go to fandom. And if you want to see how it looks with all the ads, it's going to look something like this. There is a gigantic advertisement here on the top that we probably don't want to see. And as you can see here with the ad blocker, we do not see an ad that is good, but there is this giant black box that is really ugly and probably not what you want to see. And the way that we can get rid of this is by going into uBlock Lite. And then there's going to be a little button right here where you can grant it extended permissions. Basically, if you want cosmetic filtering, that's removing these gigantic divs that take up half the screen, you're going to have to give it extended permissions. And it's only for this site only, only fandom.com websites. So you're not giving it permission for everything. So when we click allow and then reload the page, then you'll see there is no more gigantic banner here anymore. That is very good. That is what we like to see. So most ads will be blocked by default, but if you want uBlock to have a little bit more control over the page, then you can come in here to the menu and give it extended permissions with this button right here. And if you're on YouTube and you want to block video ads, 
it doesn't block it automatically, you'd have to come in here and click this, give it extended permissions, and only then it will block YouTube ads. So once you give it extended permissions, the ad blocking is actually pretty good. But if you're the kind of person who doesn't even want to go through that much trouble, you can actually open up the settings here and you can actually enable extended filtering on all websites. And if you click this, it will ask to read and change your data on all websites. We can click allow. And then we no longer have to click that on every single website. And also on this dashboard page, you can also add some additional filter lists. So one more limitation of Google's Manifest V3 is they're only allowed to have 30,000 rules at any given time. These are basically rules saying which domains to block, which domains serve ads, and which ones we don't want to see. And by default, it will just have this one, but you can also add maybe Stephen Black's host file. And if you live in a specific region, then you can add something for those. If you live in Germany, you would probably want to enable this as well. And just be careful not to go too crazy with these so that you go over 30,000. But just clicking in your area, in your region, probably won't put you over 30,000. So you don't really need to worry too much about that. But once you're done with that, we can just close this out and we can see how it looks on other websites. Now, I have been singing its praises so far, but let's look at something like chess.com. So this is even with the extended permissions I gave it. But as you can see here, we have a little bit of space right here uh, and a little bit of space over here. If you look at how it looks with the real uBlock origin, not the light version, this is how it looks. And there's no remove ads button right here. So for some websites, it looks perfect like fandom and you won't see any giant black boxes. But for some websites like this one and for CNN, there is still this gigantic black box, even with the extended permissions. So how well this works is really up to the website. And unfortunately, like I said, there's not a lot of extra features. So maybe in the original uBlock origin, you can click something like this. There's some options somewhere here where you can click here and then click on some div and then completely block it from the page. There is no option like that for uBlock Origin Lite. And I know that the creator is having some issues with that. We'll see if something like that is able to be added in the future, but don't hold your breath. And for a lot of advanced features like this, uh, in the real uBlock Origin, you can see which domains are coming through and which domains are blocked. This is another feature that is difficult to recreate in Manifest V3. And a lot of advanced features here are just not going to be there at all. So basically what you see here is all that you're going to get. And if the extended permissions isn't completely blocking all of these divs right here, then you're kind of out of luck. And like I said, this is still an early version of uBlock Origin Lite. So give it some time. Maybe it will be better in the future. But if you use it, you may have to deal with some boxes like this. That's just what happens. But for everything else, it does a pretty good job of blocking everything. This used to be cluttered with ads. Uh, CNN has got to be one of the worst websites when it comes to ads. There's even a pop-up right here. So the original looks like this. There's a giant ad here, here. There's a video ad right here, paid partner content on the side. And so it does a good job in blocking all of that. But just be aware that for some websites, it won't be able to get everything. And if you're more of a power user and you use a lot of these features here, a lot of these advanced features, then this might not be the best for you. So the creator himself has said that this isn't going to be for everybody, it's not even for the creator, but this is more for the normie user who just wants to install an ad blocker and then that's it. Like you install it once, you leave it alone, never change anything. So if you're one of those people or if you wanna install an ad blocker on your grandma's computer or you wanna tell your mom to install an ad blocker, you can probably still point them to uBlock Origin Lite and they're going to get a pretty good experience out of the box. It's not going to be perfect, but it's still going to be a whole lot better than what you would see without an ad blocker. So do give the creator a lot of credit. I know it's gotta be difficult working with these new constraints, but I think what we have so far is really pretty good. And for most normies, it's going to be more than enough. But of course, if you're on this channel, you're probably a little bit more tech savvy than your grandma. So what would I actually recommend you to do? So what I'm probably going to do is what a lot of people are going to do. I'm probably going to switch back to Firefox. I'm not the biggest fan of Firefox, but for the time being, you can still use Manifest V2 extensions. But the reason I'm talking about this is because we don't really know how long Firefox is going to keep supporting Manifest V2 extensions. 
And you also have to think of the developers of these extensions. Are they really going to want to maintain two different versions of extensions, one for Manifest V2 and one for V3? It's going to take a lot more development time to have to release two different versions of their plugin. A lot of these people are just unpaid volunteers who just do this out of the goodness of their heart. So if some of them think that it's not worth it to keep supporting V2, then maybe some of these browser extensions will just disappear. So for the time being, you can keep using these in Firefox. I'm not sure how long you will be able to, hopefully for a long time, but we'll see. Of course, you can also use a browser like Brave. I've used Brave in the past, it is very good. And the ad blocker is part of the browser itself, it's not a browser extension. So that will continue to work for the foreseeable future. I believe Vivaldi also does it. And there might be a few other ad blocking Chromium forks that also do it. But those are basically your only options right now. If you're still using Google Chrome, or I'm using just the Chromium browser without all the Google added, then come January 2023, we're no longer going to have uBlock Origin, the original. So if you want to give this a try, you can. I don't really recommend it. I would probably rather you use Firefox. But it is good to see that uBlock Origin is alive and well, even if it is a little bit weakened. And feel free to make your grandma's life a little bit easier by sending her this video.